Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about the War Within pre-patch event called Radiant Echoes, which is active until the 26th of August 2024, when the War Within expansion launches. Radiant Echoes is an invasion-style event that is permanently active, and its location rotates between three zones in a fixed pattern. Dustwallow Marsh in Kalimdor, then Dragonblight in Northrend, and lastly Searing Gorge in Eastern Kingdoms before the cycle repeats. It's also worth noting that from the 30th of July to the 5th of August, the event zone will change every 90 minutes, from the 6th to the 12th it changes every 60 minutes, and from the 13th to the 26th it changes every 30 minutes. You can also fast travel to each of these three zones by stepping onto the teleporter in the centre of the Chamber of the Guardian in Legion Dalaran, and heading to the lower floor where you'll find all of the zone portals you need. There will even be an indicator there showing you which zone is currently hosting the event. Each Radiant Echoes event consists of three phases. In phase one, you'll find Congealed Memories, which is a mini-boss that will continuously spawn memories until defeated, and upon killing it, Phase 2 will activate. Phase 2 requires players to complete various objectives around the zone, such as killing mobs, gathering items, and interacting with NPCs, and you'll see where each of these objectives can be fulfilled on your zone map. Once all six objectives are finished, Phase 3 begins. The third phase is simply a final boss encounter with a memory of Onyxia spawning in Dustwallow Marsh, the Lich King in Dragonblight, and Ragnaros in Searing Gorge. Once the final boss is defeated, the event essentially ends in that zone and won't reactivate until it rotates to its new zone. However, players can still grind mobs in the area after the event is over by looking for lingering memories on the map. All Radiant Echoes mobs, including the lingering memories, drop a new currency called Residual Memories, which can be used to purchase catch-up gear and cosmetics. We'll take a closer look at all the rewards you can purchase a little later in the video. Another thing to be aware of is that each of the three zones have their own corresponding weekly quest, which you can pick up from the zone's residual memories vendor, each of which you should see as soon as you enter the zone through the portal. Each weekly quest simply asks you to defeat the final boss of the event for that zone, and you will be awarded 1,500 residual memories upon completion. These weekly quests can be completed on multiple characters across the same account, so it makes for a fast and efficient farming method, especially considering that residual memories are transferable across your account, meaning you can amalgamate all of your currency on one character to purchase rewards. Now let's take a look at all the rewards you can get by participating in the pre-patch event, and what you can buy with your residual memories. All of these rewards are time-sensitive, as they will be unobtainable once the pre-patch ends. Firstly, you can earn a new Feat of Strength achievement called This Takes Me Back, by defeating all three of the final bosses. Next, players can purchase catch-up gear at item level 480, which starts at level 1 of 8 of the Veteran Upgrade track, which means each piece can be upgraded to a maximum item level of 502 with Flight Stones and Crests. However, you do also have a chance to loot these catch-up gear pieces by completing objectives during the event itself. Another gear piece you can earn is a new heirloom ring called the Band of Radiant Echoes. In order to get this ring, you need to combine four different items relating to the pre-patch event. First, you need a lifeless stone ring, which can be bought from Remembrancer Amul next to the zone portals in Legion Dalaran for 25 residual memories. Then you need one Essence of Kalimdor, one Essence of the Eastern Kingdoms, and one Essence of Northrend. Each of these Essences can be made once you've collected 20 memories of each zone, and these can only drop from objectives during the events, so it may take some time to grind them out. With all four items, you can then combine them together to make the heirloom ring and add it to your collections journal. The last few rewards you can buy with your residual memories include a mount, the Remembered Golden Griffin for Alliance, and the Remembered Windrider for Horde, both costing 20,000 residual memories each. And you can also buy three battle pets, the Remembered Construct, Remembered River Paw, and Remembered Spawn, and these cost 10,000 each. Lastly, 
For 2,000 residual memories each, you can buy the Defender's Hefty Satchel 32 slot bag and the Recruit's Reagent 30 slot reagent bag, and both of these bags are warbound, meaning they can be earned by one character on your account and sent to another on the same account. So there we have it. That is everything you need to know about the Radiant Echoes pre-patch event for The War Within. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, if you have any questions or advice of your own that you would like to share, please leave a comment below. For now though, I wish you a wonderful rest of your day, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!